and welcome to another collection video here at Edinburgh Watch Company. My name's Jonathan, we are in June 2021. Thank you so much for coming along to join our, our chat. We have got some absolutely gorgeous watches today. I've got 14 watches from some great brands, Audemars Piquet, Rolex, Panerai, Breitling, Tudor, all sorts to, to show you. So um, it's been a while since we've been on the channel. Um, it's been busy here. Scott, my videographer, has been on holiday. As I mentioned last time, we've got a new puppy. So that's been really good fun. And, you know, from a work point of view, it's been really, really busy um, with lots of gorgeous watches coming and going. Um, again, just a reminder, we're still looking for really lovely pre-owned watches as well. So if you've got anything you think I'd like with all the box and papers, then please give me a call. So the, the watches we're gonna talk about today, we're just gonna have a, a quick walk through them. We're not gonna go into the nth degree detail. Um, we're gonna try and do some videos of these watches as well. The problem is they keep getting sold before we get the chances to do the video on. So as before with the videos we've done before, this is about just giving you a quick heads up and we'll get this video out within a couple of days of shooting this video. So um, before we talk about the watches I've got on show here, um, I am wearing a beautiful watch today, and I think you've seen this one on the channel before. This is my Rolex Yachtmaster 40mm uh, stainless steel with a platinum bezel. I've got it fitted here on the blue rubber strap, and I thought, what better watch to go with this new jacket? Um, I love my sports jackets, uh, and I've got a chum of mine, Chris of Edinburgh Tailoring, who's just made this jacket up for me. And you can see here, it's got a lovely, um, paisley blue inside so if you fancy getting yourself a jacket made up um, just a wee plug for Chris because he's a really good guy and his jackets are lovely and they just like fit you like a glove when you put them on they're really really nice they're not overly expensive and uh, it's definitely worth a look at okay let's talk watches I'm going to start off by introducing our Audemars Piquet now this watch I only got yesterday it is the new Audemars Piquet Royal Oak Offshore and it's named, it's nicknamed the Ghosts, and you'll see why because of the, the color scheme in the watch. Now, this is a 2021 watch bought here in the UK. Of course, now all of these watches are all boxed in paper, so I won't bother telling you that again. But this is a really, really nice watch. You can see here the dial on it is absolutely knockout, that gray patisserie dial. Uh, we sold an earlier version of this last month. Um, so this has the 42 millimeter case on it. And um, the one we sold before was in stainless steel. This one, however, is in titanium. So it's super light to wear. And the older model we sold had a stainless steel bezel here. This one is in ceramic. So with the lightness of this titanium, the strength of the ceramic, it's just a lovely, lovely watch to wear. On the back, it has a clear case back as well so we'll do some lovely macro footage of that for you to see but it is a great looking watch in fact i wish this one had been a little bit more pre-owned and i could have worn it for a, a few weeks but i can't really wear this one beyond this video today but just look at that absolutely cracking a really really nice watch i'm a big fan of the ap's i think some of them personally are a little bit too big um but this one at, at 42 mil uh, is just is just the right size fitted on this rubber strap hold that up to camera and then you can see it's not overly thick you know it's sort of yeah just about goes underneath the jacket there but having worn a few ap's in the past some of them are really pretty heavy this one is not it's really really nice you've got titanium clasp on it as well and uh, and i guess you could put other straps on it if you wanted to but i think that is a really nice watch now I'm gonna try and remember the prices as we go through these watches today. Um, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but the main thing is please go and jump on the website, edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. And most of these watches are on there. Um, we've got the, the odd one still to list. However, this watch new today um, is 28,300 pounds. Now, Audemars PK don't discount their watches just like Rolex. Um, so to get one of these, they're quite hard to get. And to get it under list is, a, you know, I think it's a bit of a bonus. 25,500 is what we need for this watch. So I think that's a really, really good price for that one. 
So moving on from all of our PK, um, I've got um, three Breitlings to talk to you about. And the first one I'm going to show you is this one here. Now this is a discontinued model now, and it's the Breitling Chronomat 44. So finished in stainless steel, uh, it has the polished finish to it. But what is rather unique about this, and I'm not sure whether we'll pick it up under this camera, but we'll do so in the macro, is that this has a mother of pearl dial. So it's absolutely gorgeous as the light catches it. You can just see the elements of green coming through from the dial. It's really quite special. It's a Roman dial on it. Um, as you can see here, it's a chronograph. It's an automatic. It's a chronometer movement and it has never been worn. You can see here, actually, you can maybe even hear it creaking. It has an alligator strap on it with a tang buckle. You can see there stainless steel back. It's still got the stickers on it and I think a really, really nice watch. Now I'm just gonna to refer to my notes because there's lots of watches to talk to you about. This one is a 2017 watch. And again, really, really good value. And the price of that one, we've got that at um, 3,495 pounds. I'm not quite sure what that costs new, but I think if you like Breitling and you want an automatic 44 mils, not too big, you like an alligator strap, you get a really good, fit on the wrist with a watch like this is um, sometimes when you're wearing like a stainless steel bracelet they can be quite chunky with a leather strap or the rubber strap you get a really good fit so i think that is a really really good looking watch and uh you know a really good saving i suspect that was probably around about five and a half six thousand pounds when it was new okay so we're going to go from the breitling chronomat 44 onto the super avenger 48. now this watch uh, came to me uh, last week. It is an absolutely lovely watch and I think it's like many of you out there who have bought watches through COVID. I think it was bought um, but by my customer and uh, I think he just realized it wasn't quite for him but he just he liked it at the time. Um, it's a really really good looking watch. Uh, we've had a few of the Super Avengers in the past. This one however is made in titanium and it has like a DLC coating on it. Um, Super Avenger, been around a long time. It's a 48 mil case, so it's certainly a big boy uh, uh, size-wise, but it has the most beautiful blue dial on it. Uh, the bezel here is a rotating bezel, it's a diving watch, um, and you have the chronograph function as well on it too. What's rather nice, this one has got a, a leather strap, but the outside is, a, is like a fabric on it there. So it's rather nice with the contrast stitching. And then you have the titanium clasp on it there. And then you've got Breitling Avenger on the back. I'll let you see this one on the wrist. Get perfect for my massive wrist. Um, there we go, just looking at it down there. Great colors, really, really nice. We normally see them in sort of black and silver and white, so it's, it's rather nice, but yeah, good looking watch. It'll be a really good loom on the dial of this one as well. Got a little red tip on the, on the chronograph hand and the, and the top dial. And um, yeah, again, a big watch, but really, really light to wear. And I think that's the, the, the impression it gives me. You can see there, thickness of it. It's a big watch, but I think it's really nice. And we've got that one at um, 3,995 pounds. So these are 4,999. 4,990 new, so almost a thousand pounds off the watch, and I think that's a really good start, 2021. Uh, moving on now to a Panerai that we've got in. This is the Luminor Marina, and this one was bought in 2019 from an existing customer of ours, and he offered this one to us to buy, and we thought, yes, please, we like the Luminor. We actually do quite well with Panerais, I must say. I think. I'm a big fan of them. I think they're great looking watches. So much history with the watch, of course, with their association with the Italian Navy. Um, and they tend to come and go really quickly. Having said that, it's something, if I was investing into a Panerai, personally, I would want to buy it pre-owned because I like the Rolexes. You know, the, the depreciation is quite significant to begin with. So try and get something really nice with all the provenance and mint condition and that's definitely the way to go. So this one is, in fact, is still made today. Um, it, they're about 4,800 new. Um, it's got a three-day power reserve on it, and the styling of the Luminor Marina here is very unique. We pull this little 
lever out here and this allows you to adjust it pop it back in again that ensures that it's it's waterproof for you nice stainless steel case back um, about 44 millimeter size wise so um, not a bad size to wear it's got a good decent length of strap on it as well and there you go really really nice watch and um, yeah the fact we've got this one at 3795 so fantastic uh, loom you got off these watches at night time um, you've got the constant second hand there at nine o'clock fitted on a, a calf leather strap with a polished stainless steel tang buckle and yeah it's a nice one just feels i don't know i sometimes feel when i wear these panerai watches it's like time for the weekend let's put this on for the weekend let's wind it up the power reserve will last you for the weekend and then you know put it back in the safe after the weekend and go and wear go and wear something else but yeah i think that's a, a really nice one okay so um going on to another breitling now and um, this one we've got is the breitling super ocean heritage and this is a one of a, a number of watches that i actually bought from a collector and the watch has never been worn uh, it was bought brand new in 2017 and it's a really lovely watch um 40 about 46 mil case size uh, mounted onto this uh, mesh strap and it's a good looking watch black dial really uh, decent amount of luminous coating on the hands uh, for nighttime reading uh, it has a unidirectional bezel waterproof watch and you can see here you've got the the chronograph function as well um, love these bracelets they're really super comfortable to wear and it has the the deployment clasp as well there now this watch isn't actually made anymore um, let me just show you that there and just up to there too, just to give you a height. So yeah, good size, 46 mil. Um, I wouldn't say it's overly heavy. I think you, I mean, you know you're wearing it to begin with, but I think it will settle in quite well. Um, but yeah, good looking watch. And we've got this one at a, where we go, at Super Ocean Heritage, 3490. Um, so again, it's a, a, a good price on that one. So yeah, I think that's a nice watch. We've had a few of these in the past actually, and they, they do tend to go uh, quite quickly okay so that's all the watches to my right hand side and then moving on here now we've got some beautiful Rolexes to share with you um, again these Rolexes they, they come and go really really quickly but let's kick off here with a Yachtmaster now you saw me wearing a Yachtmaster earlier I'm really biased to a Yachtmaster I think it's just a great watch um, why do I like it um, aesthetically I think it's beautiful I like the narrower case it's really really slim to wear and it's just not the one that it's not that iconic Submariner or the GMT. It's just that little bit difference. And there's such a range of yacht masters as well. Of course, you know you can have 37 mil, 40 mil. You can have the yacht master twos. You know the big 44 mil. Um, of course, it's a waterproof watch, um, but they don't tend to command quite the premiums of the sports watches. And I think they're very good value. And the one I'm wearing here has got the platinum bezel. This one I'm about to show you: steel and ever rose gold. Um, I just think it's just a really, a really good all-rounder. So this one we've got here is a watch that came back from a customer, um, gosh, about two weeks ago now, and it was part exchanged, and it is the, uh, I think it's the 126221, so it's the 40 millimeter Yachtmaster in stainless steel and Everose gold. What I particularly like about this watch, and we've had a few of these, is the color of the dial. It's a beautiful, rich chocolate dial. And I think the warmth of that dial along with the Everose gold of the watch, it just works really, really well. Now, this watch costs new around about 11,600 pounds. I say this is 2020. It's an absolutely pristine condition. And we've got this for 11,995. Now that's only 400 pounds or so over list. So if you compare that to you know, we sold a uh, stainless steel with a rhodium dial recently, and that was 11995 because they do command the big premiums. But the bimetal ones, they're not quite there. So I think if you're a, a, a bimetal fan, which I think is really coming back, by the way, and you like Everose Gold, then I think this is definitely one to look at. I think it's gorgeous. You can see the Yachtmaster writing there in red. Um, it's an automatic watch with a chronometer movement, accurate to within two seconds per day. You can take it swimming down to 100 meters. 
and this is the one with the new movement in it as well. So this has got the 70 hour power reserve, more resistance to shock and magnetism and just a great all rounder. You can see here, it has the oyster bracelet on it, whereas the, the brushed stainless steel effect and uh, the polished center links running through the middle and that continues through the clasp there as well. Now I can wear 40, 42, 44, 46. I have to say 40 is my favorite size. It's just perfect on the wrist. It really is. And just look how slim it is as well. It's absolutely perfect. So yeah, big fan of this watch. Really glad to have this one part exchange. And I think if you're looking for a Yacht Master, and then this one is definitely, you know, it's definitely worth considering compared to what you'll need to pay for, you know, for the other ones. So sticking with the sports watches, um, this is probably one of our most popular watches for summer. This watch that we have today is the new model Rolex Submariner Date. Now, of course, the Submariner needs no introduction. It's a watch that's been out for years. But in September 2020, Rolex introduced this new model. They made some changes to it. It was a 40 millimeter. They've made a minor change to the size to a 41. Now it's not in practice really that much bigger. In fact, I don't even think it's fully 41, but it's, it's 40 point something. Aside, aside from the actual size, it's really the lugs here that are a little bit different. They're a little bit narrower here than the sort of maxi case that you, you had on the older watch. The other thing too is that the previous um, bimetal blue Submariners, the writing like for Submariner was in gold, now it's in white and it's really, really crisp. It's just, it just, it works really well on the dial. Um, again, automatic chronometer, accurate to within two seconds per day. This of course, being the new movement in it, has also got the 70 hour power reserve as well. Really popular watch. I've had one of these myself back in around about 2014 when the the sunburst style came out, really, really like it. It's got the glide lock clasp in it as well, so it makes it really easy to adjust. You just pull it there, it slides, it clicks out. And just perfect on the wrist. So this is a 2021 20, unworn watch. Absolutely lovely. Um, list on the watch I think is about 11,450. And we've got this watch at 13,995 which is about right for these sports watches. They're not that easy to get, not impossible to get, but um, probably a little bit easier than the all stainless steel ones. But, you know, to have precious metal on the watch, I think it's a really, a really good looking watch. So there we go, there's the Submariner. So we're gonna go from 41 mil, and we're going down to 36 mil. <clears throat> and I'm really delighted to say that we have the new kit on the block. We have one of the new releases uh, from the April 2021 launch here. We have here the new 36 millimeter Explorer. Now this watch, probably quite similar to the Rolex Deep, uh, where we now Sea Dweller that came out, uh, I think around about 2020 in, in steel and gold. Um, something that no one expected. Well, they've done it again. They brought out this beautiful um, Explorer in 36 millimeter in stainless steel and yellow gold, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't consider myself a YouTuber, um, and someone I'd like to mention, I'm sure many of you watching this today, is Adrian from Bark and Jack. He is just fabulous at what he does. He has a great following uh, and does the most wonderful reviews. So if you love your watches, you love your coffee, I really recommend go and have a look at his video. And he recently did a review on this watch and uh, he's a big fan of the Explorer. He wears a 36 mil stainless steel one himself. <clears throat> and probably like many, when the watch first came out, was a bit skeptical of, crikey, what have Rolex done here? But, you know, the more time you spend with this watch, um, you can really see why Rolex have done it. Um, it's a size that can be worn by a lady or a gentleman. And, um, you know, Rolex aren't just looking at the enthusiasts here in the UK, they're looking globally at their watch lovers around the world. And there's a big market for smaller watches in the Far East, etc. So um, these will no doubt sell very well. In fact, this is the second one we've got here. So 2021 unworn new Explorer, just lovely on the Oyster bracelet with a safety clasp on the back here. Not sure whether this is going to fit on my wrist, but we'll give it a go. 
There we go. Now, 36 mil, remember, this is the size, of course, that was the size of the Rolex Day Date. You know, it's a size that gentlemen have worn for many years. So sometimes I think it's just about wearing a watch and you can just adjust to it. Um, the last one we sold, a customer wears a 39 mil and a 36 mil, and he absolutely loves it. And it just feels lovely on the wrist. It really does. And in fact, you'll see probably in, in, a, in a video hopefully coming along soon, um, I've got a lovely Cartier Santos that, um, in fact, it's the Santos Ronde in, in 18 karat gold that I'm going to start wearing. And it's really small. It's probably about 34 mil, but it doesn't matter. It's just what feels on the wrist. But that, anyhow, is a really, really nice one. These are quite hard to get as well just now. And there are some... Um, Shall we say very interesting prices out there uh, for the Explorer? Um, I think the price that we have this one, we've got it about eleven two fifty or so, something around about that. It, 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 it's a fair price, as it were, um, because as I say you can't get them. Okay, so back onto sports watches now. Um, this watch we have here is a very very late twenty twenty um, Rolex Submariner. Now it's the non date version, so that's the one one four zero six zero and will probably be one of the last of the models made because of course the 124060 came out in September uh, 2020. Um, and of course that one had a few changes to it, but this one is a really popular one too with its maxi case. Um, the gentleman who wore this watch wore it very infrequently. In fact, when he bought the watch, he took the bracelet off the watch. And so the bracelet has never been worn. He put it on a rubber strap and it is an absolutely in as new condition. So all credit to the way he's looked after the watch and um, you can't beat it. It's a very sort of Bond uh, look and feel to it. Stainless steel, 904L grade stainless steel. Again, automatic chronometer movement. Same accuracy in this one as the new one, two seconds per day and waterproof down to a thousand foot. So it's very much gonna work for, for many. 40 mil case size. Uh, it has the, the Oyster bracelet here with a brushed stainless steel effect. And of course, this really practical glide lock clasp, which you can see we just pull and slide there, click it back in again. And it just makes it you know, so easy to wear. Um, I love the Submariner. It, it's very hard to beat. It's just a really, really good all-rounder. And there you can see it on the wrist there. Just a lovely, lovely watch. It's also quite slim as well. You can just hold it up to camera and you can see there. And I think this is a watch that, you know, it will, you know, will go underneath some shirt cuffs, um, definitely. So, great watch, timeless watch. Um, this would make a lovely gift, you know, for someone that loves the Submariners, an absolute classic, never goes out of date, really, really good looking watch. And again, always encourage you to go and price check, you know, go and have a look around the internet and see what, you know, late 2020 sub no dates are selling for. And I think you'll see it, 9995, it's not a bad price for that. So there we are, we've had a look at some really lovely Rolexes uh, there as well. Now, staying with the, the same overall company that owns Rolex, who also owns Tudor, we have got uh, one, two, three, four Tudors to talk to you about today. And they're really, really cool, cool watches. So, first one we're gonna talk about is uh, one that the rugby fans of this world will associate with, because this is a watch that was brought out uh, by Tudor um, to uh, celebrate the All Blacks. Um, and this watch is made out of uh, steel with a, like a DLC PVC PV coating on it. Um, really lovely looking watch. Uh, Age-wise, it is 2020. I think they made round about uh, 1181 of them and it's actually engraved with the, the special edition number on the back of it. But a lovely, lovely looking watch. Um, a lot of hype when these watches came out. This watch is unworn. Um, it came from a collector. He just put it away in a safe and uh, decided to let me have the opportunity to buy it. So again, we've got it at a fair price. It's about six and a half thousand pounds or so. But the colors work really, really well. You've got a really cool black dial there. You've also got the sub dials also in the same color. So they don't sort of jump out too much. You've got a practical date at the bottom. And a, and a really, really good loom on the hands as well. The chronograph buttons here, they actually screw into the side of the case, so quite similar to the way in which the Rolex Day don't, Daytona does. Um, lovely bracelet here, uh, pretty consistent in the, the way, in fact, does it, it does taper down slightly, I think. 
and then you've got the safety clasp. You can see you've still got the, the stickers on the back of it there. So I think it's a lovely watch. It really is. And not too many of these around just now, but of course to get one that's unworn is, is, is particularly nice as well. And you can just see it there with a jacket. A really nice watch. Um, 41 mil case size, so quite a decent size watch. Quite a nice weight to it, I'd say, as well, with a metal bracelet. And um, yeah, nice watch, really, really nice watch. So that's the All Blacks one. And we've got another one of the Harrods watches too. Um, I really like these. Um, now, I think Harrods realized they're onto a good thing with producing this watch with Tudor. Um, we never really knew how many of these, but they'd actually make. Uh, this one here is, you know, over 5,000 that they've made. I remember we got one of the first ones recently, but lovely, lovely watch. Um, I kind of look at this watch and I, I instantly think about, you know, the, the Rolex Kermit Submariner, but <clears> there's <throat> something quite different about this. And for me, it, it has a, a sort of bit of a vintage look to it, you know, with the, with the yellow gold on it, um, the creamy hour markers and the creamy hands. I think the colors work very well. The bezel insert on it, it's like a faded green. And then of course it contrasts so well against the, the stainless steel. This one, actually just looking at it here, it's actually still in stickers. So that's rather nice as well. So you'll have the pleasure of, you know, peeling the stickers off the watch uh, if you choose to buy that. The bracelet on the watch here, you can see it's got this sort of fake rivet bracelet. It's a little bit contentious with some of the watch lovers, but hey, it is the way it is. And you've got the deployment class there as well. Uh, so when I say deployment, I mean deployant class. And the crown here on the side, you've got that Tudor rose there. And this actually screws into the side of the case as well. I think it's waterproof down to about 200 meters as well. Now, for the timekeeping point of view, this is a chronometer as well. So it's a good, accurate movement, uh, decent power reserve, about 70 hours on this watch. And there we go. It just looks fantastic. Great colors on the watch. And um, this one we've got, I think, right about the 4250 mark. Um, so obviously a little bit over list, um, but they're not overly available. But, you know, we seem to sell them reasonably quickly at that. So I think the Tudor Harrods is a, a really nice watch. And again, um, perfect watch to maybe put a NATO strap on with it. Uh, again, quick plug for Adrian there at Bark and Jack, his straps, loads of straps there that he may have that would work with that watch, but it's a really a good watch to set up from that. So sticking with Tudor, um, we're now gonna talk about the PO1. Now this watch came out a couple of years ago. Um, this watch was bought new in 2019. So literally it was one of the, the first models that came out. Uh, I remember going to the launch of this watch and uh, wow, it was a bit left field in, in the look of it. Um, again, for those looking at the watch, um, they will probably know that the sort of history behind it, I think this is a, a style of watch that was made uh, for the military. I don't think they ever went ahead with it, but you know, Tudor still had the design and I think it's lovely. Um, I've actually had one of these myself I bought. I just love the design of it. I love the way in which the stainless steel case joins the, 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 the calf leather strap there and with a link. And I think it's really cool as well that the bezel, again, you don't, if you're gonna use this as a diving watch, you don't want the bezel to be turning when you don't want it to. So what Tudor did was they designed a mechanism here. So when you push that up here, you then turn the bezel and then you lock it back down again. So it's a really you know, clever bit of engineering to do it. The crown, of course, not in the usual um, three o'clock position, but more down here between four and five. Crown actually screws into the side of the case and a really nice dial. You've got the date function there and a really powerful loom at nighttime on it. Um, so lovely condition, really nice strap on it. And um, yeah, I think it's a bit different. Uh, these retail at just under the sort of 3,000 mark. And again, I think we've got this one priced at about 2,895. So it's about, it's thereabouts, the sort of market price for it. But yeah, really nice watch. Um, case size, I think it's around about 42 mil. Um, but again, being on the leather strap, there's no weight to it. It just feels really nice on the wrist, but I love the design of it. I think it's really cool, it's really funky. It's a bit different. And I think for those of you that love your watches that are just saying, I want another watch to add to the collection. I want it to be a good brand like Tudor. I want it to have a really good movement inside it. And I want something a little bit different, maybe something for the weekend. This would work really well. 
I think it's really, really, a really cool watch. So that is the Tudor P01, a really lovely watch. Well, we're almost there. Um, we have the last watch now to talk to you about, and this, again, Tudor. Now, um, those of you that know, you know, big groups like Watches of Switzerland, Mappin and Webb, Goldsmiths, etc. Well, one of the big, big groups is Boucherer. And Boucherer um, went into an arrangement with Tudor where they got Tudor to make a watch specially for them. And it's based on the Tudor Black Bay Bronze. And I love the Black Bay Bronze. I got one when they came out, not the first one with a sort of chocolatey dial, but they brought this gorgeous slate gray dial out and I bought one of them, absolutely loved it. We've had a few of them since, but I've never had one of these. So I've been talking to our customer for about a, almost, well, a few months certainly to try and get this watch. Uh, it was bought new in 2021. And of course, being bronze, you get that patina. So this has already changed color and it's just a lovely sort of antique looking watch. Absolutely beautiful color. And when you, when you wear this watch outside, the, the, the sun catches the blue dial. It's lovely with the gold hands and the creamy hour markers. And then you've got this blue bezel insert on it here. But you can just see here, it's in beautiful condition. It's unmarked, it's absolutely lovely. But it's, you know, if you compare it to the back there, you can see the difference in color and the way that this bronze has gone. So I guess the back will not actually be bronze, it will be probably some form of steel. Um, again, you've got the, the Tudor crown there, but I love this watch. Um, beautiful strap with dark blue strap with like a, a beige pin stripe running through in the middle. And um, it also comes with a leather strap as well. There's a brand new uh, leather strap in the box for this one, never been worn. And that I think has got I'm not sure whether it's got the deployment clasp on it or not, but it's uh, really, really nice. Um, I have actually been wearing this watch for the last few days, I must admit. I just, I really like this watch and they're quite hard to get hold of. And um, look at it there. Yeah, it's just great. Super light, really is, especially on that strap, you can see. So a real, you know, a great diver's watch, lovely color scheme. And we've got this one priced at uh, about three, 3495, something like that, I think. So it's, um, you know, probably about right for, for something like that and in lovely condition. So there we are, what a collection. Um, some of the best examples I think we've had for a long time and uh, really, really delighted to be able to share this with you today. So there we are. Thank you so much for those of you that stuck to the end um, watching all these beautiful watches. Um, we're gonna be shooting some videos for you. We'll have another collection video probably next month, um, giving you a quick heads up. Um, really, really appreciate your support watching our channel. I'm conscious there's so many videos to watch us on YouTube today, but it's nice to have you along and uh, hopefully see you again soon. Take care.